Welcome back everyone. When I started the channel I was planning to build a one wheel skateboard and there was a couple of R&D projects and a few other little bits and pieces that I planned to do and with work and one thing leading to another I'm just getting back to it now. So today I'm going to cover off on a lot of the detail about the one wheel skateboard project. I've actually already got some of the parts that have sort of been turning up along the way and I'm ready to get into it in earnest. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, so just looking at the next project I'm going to tackle and this is pretty much what I'm aiming for. If you get on YouTube or just Google One Wheel, it should come up with a device like this called the uh, One Wheel, which is a commercially available product. I'd like to build one myself. The premise of it is it's a self-balancing skateboard. The wheel is wide enough so you can balance on it like side to side. To move forward you lean forward and the wheel will drive underneath you to try and self-balance the board so you'll move forward and to slow down or stop if you lean back again it will try to drive underneath you to stabilize it. So that's moving forward and stopping and if you lean to one side or the other then it will tend to turn in that direction so a couple of things i guess just to look at there's a safety switch so if you fall off or you lose contact with the board it will stop the motor we've got some lights at the front there'll be a main switch on it to turn it off and on to isolate it there's quite a few variations of this that other people have built. Most of them use a brushed motor and a chain drive or something like that. I've had a good look around the internet and found a supplier in China on AliExpress that can supply uh, hub motors with the tyre and everything. And I've actually ordered two of those uh, hub motors uh, complete with the tyres. And if I just bring up this file, we have a few images of the actual hub motor and uh, tire fitted. So that's the one that I'll be using. I've, they've actually arrived, so I'm good to go with that as far as testing goes. There's performance characteristics of the motor, and the one that I selected is a 36 volt. 600 watt device and it's saying it's capable of you know between 20 and 35 kilometers an hour i guess time will tell exactly what sort of speed we can get out of it i guess the other thing that has arrived is the battery management system that i'll be using i thought about building a battery management system myself but look at the end of the day these are fairly cheap so I just ordered one. This is a 10S 45 amp device. And if we look at the actual specifications, it says, well, apart from that typo, there's a 100 amp instantaneous discharge current, continuous discharge current of 45 amps. And I believe that that should be fine. A couple of them that I looked at, it didn't appear that you would be able to use regenerative braking to charge the battery. However, this one appears that it will actually work with regenerative braking as well. So I chose this one for that reason. To be honest, I don't know whether it will get used. I'm certainly developing the controller algorithm to support it and whether it gets used in this instance or not we will see it'll be a matter of seeing how the algorithm works the balance algorithm works to see whether it can be used or not okay that's the bms 
and that's what we're sort of aiming for so when I set up the channel this was one of the projects that I really wanted to start I plan to do one R&D project the self-balancing robot just to test out the balance algorithm and with work and that and some requests from people it sort of took over a lot of my time and the channel's been going for a year now and I'm really just getting back to this project I plan to uh, weld up the frame myself, uh, build the battery pack myself. We've looked at the BMS, so that will be off the shelf. The motor's off the shelf. The actual controller, I've started designing that. And if I just bring up Easy EDA, I plan to use the microcontroller used for the Arduino just like I did for the self-balancing robot version 2 project basically a cut down Arduino I'll be using the MPU 6050 because I'm quite familiar with that and obviously got good code that I can use with that as far as the brushless motor control goes I've purchased one with Hall sensors so they'll be coming into the controller and if we look at the power stage we've got MOSFET drivers for the actual motor control at the moment I haven't gone for MOSFET driver chips I'm just using discrete transistors that may change as time goes on I'm just going to use these for the moment for the prototyping we'll be monitoring the actual current using a resistor and that'll go back to the Arduino as well it's a fairly simple H-bridge style circuit high and low drivers for each phase of the motor and we'll be having some lights on the actual device so there's a transistor to control some high intensity LED lights we go back to the control side of things again an alarm buzzer so if the battery's getting low and things like that then we want to alert the rider before the thing just cuts out there'll be a couple of uh, leds they're the hall sensors battery monitor uh, programming port i'm putting that on everything now there'll be a five volt regulator on here now i actually need to check the input of that five volt regulator to make sure it can handle 36 volts i'm not too sure we'll have a look at that okay the other thing that we'll just cover off on here is the interconnections between the actual controller board that I've designed and all of the discrete devices so the power LEDs for the lights the LED indicators piezo buzzer the actual brushless motor with the hall sensors and the phase windings and the battery so 10 cells these are just showing a series connected however there'll be a parallel series sort of combination to get a sufficient battery capacity and a connector to go onto the board we've got a fuse here a switch to turn it on and when it's not on it just switches the charge connector into the circuit so that's where we're at at the moment I haven't built up anything I've started looking at the Arduino code to do some prototyping I'll be just using a Uno for that and at the moment I've really just focused on the actual drive of the motor so I've got to get a few components and things like that but I'm hopeful that throughout this week I will get the prototype circuit built up and can actually test the drive once that's complete and I'm comfortable that the actual drive for the brushless motor is working okay then we'll start looking at creating a board and go from there anyway there's an update of where I'm at look I really do welcome any comments so you can leave a comment on the website or on the YouTube video on Facebook or just send me an email if you can see something glaringly obvious that's wrong I'd love to catch it before I go down the track of building it okay well that's it for the moment I'll give you more feedback when I've got a little bit further down the track Cheers
If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.